Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we'll continue our beloved Swan Song campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty, everything cranked to the max, uh, just to see if that is survivable in career mode. We're about uh, 350, 370 days in and things are going good. I promised you the last time that I would finish the last solar system. So the we finished our Sacramanti uh, solar system and tried to fly on and now it is time in the apian system to finally get the next flashpoint let's just take a look at the reputation overall so the pirates increased dramatically we're now at 61 which will give us a really really solid reputational boost we got the lyran commonwealth with 45 so we can also do higher level quests for them the capellian confederation were the ones that we pushed so they are almost at 40 that means the more difficult missions are possible and if we can maybe get the draconus combine or free worlds league to join in as well then we have a pretty solid overall uh, setup in terms of mac bay a few changes here as well as uh, most of you know, uh, we were able to purchase an Annihilator the last time. So I started designing this bad boy. It is still a few more days until that one finished. We were uh, storing the Cataphrag that just didn't really work out super well. And we're still left with essentially dual Thunderbolt, Black Knight uh, plus Orion Heavy Mech setup. Plus, here's our light uh, make setup. So that's really where, where we are, more or less. And now it's time to kind of get things done. There are a few more missions here as well that I would uh, like to attend afterwards. Uh, because interestingly enough, although I think the underlying system isn't particularly high, we still got some decent two and a half school contracts out of it. So yeah, one and a half school system technically shouldn't really carry a lot of high level contracts but you can see that we have a few two two and a half school contracts and two and a half school could already be some medium uh, and heavy mechs in there so that in itself besides of course the reputation that we want to build up uh, with um, the capellian confederation here that's uh, itself good. The All of the missions are against the planetary government, and that is even better. One here would work against the Capellian Confederation, so we're not going to do that, but the other three can be done just to kind of get that extra, that extra, extra reputation. Enough waffling. Let's uh, get into the actual flashpoint. You remember that whole long... Uh, journey with the AI, Mordius, uh, which was uh, trying uh, to help us to find that old, um, yeah, lost tech compound. We're finally there. The Dobrev uh, crew um, uh, was uh, the one that has, I think, stranded uh, stranded there and left that old base. Well. Turns out that Bormann and their group are still on the prowl. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a heavy salvage mission in the desert whilst trying to capture a base. Can't be that difficult, right? Wrong. Of course it will be difficult. So let's see what we're dealing with. Uh, that Thunderbolt is pretty plain vanilla. We got a good solid Black Knight here with around 240. 40 and the Orion with 270 so Orion it is for Hogbite could upgrade some of uh, that let me just double check one last thing and I hope you excuse my curiosity just double checking if we have in uh, some extra nice weapons here of course we don't okay that means we're going to go with 624 salvage got mox hogbite bradford on the other orion and uh, on the uh, black knight rather and we got uh, thunderbolt tigan sounds like a good team might as well start it 
and see how well we're doing. All right, here we go. Let's uh, drop uh, the Command mission. I'd rather drop into the mission. The Bormann group is against us, so let's see if we Not can that, beat them to the punch. Good, we need to go all the way over here. At least we got the high ground. And there's a kind of rare circumstance. It's, it looks as if, despite this being you got it. a desert, as if we would have water in here. Location confirmed. Good. We're keeping a bit of a distance so that stray shots uh, do not happen. Fortunately, our Black Knight immediately get, gets tagged by that AC-10. PPC misses. Let's see what we're dealing with. One light. Couple of m moderate max. Okay, cool. Enforcer didn't move. Griffin is standing there as well. Let's start with the Griffin, shall we? And the unsteady condition essentially forces the griffin to lose all of its um, evasion blips black knight can continue to be the front line but the griffin is way. not very well accessible so we're instead going for that enforcer here 20 percent damage reduction but well, that doesn't matter if you deal enough damage. What are your orders, Skipper? Again, not very accessible. Moving over and here, forward. Thunderbolt. Eventually is going to go in with Vigilance. I'm trying to reach those tree lines over here. Fantastic. Orion goes over here. Griffin again, not accessible. But we can work with the Enforcer. The guy becomes highly unsteady as well. And with being unsteady, he also starts to aim worse. Ah, let them come. Wow, a hunchback. Okay, good. We're taking a bit of a beating here. I'm catching some serious shit here, Commander. Got something you want done? All right, fantastic. Black Knight moves up, and let's focus on the Griffin first. Griffin is heavily injured. That's fantastic. Good. Thunderbolt moves further forward. I would like to try to drop that Griffin. Which is exactly what is happening. Moving this Thunderbolt here. Just a tiny bit back so that we're not Location in the absolute fire, uh, fire line of everyone else. Down. 
Good. And the Orion over here continues to hit the Enforcer. Alright, Enforcer just tries its very best to get on our nerves. Commander. We're continuing with Vigilance because I got that du dull feeling that we're going okay, to be the confirmed. main attraction. Good. 60% damage reduction. Okay. Confirm. Commander. So just out of curiosity. I think that that would not be a bad idea. On the move. Multi shot. Hunchback takes everything. And the guy over here. Takes a little bit of heat. Time for a little bang, bang. Orders. So it can't fully reach the hunchback. Let's make sure that we reduce its initiative, so next turn I want to be able to hit it first, Confirmed. before it can hit us. Copy that. And a bold move up, or, although not fully into the back of uh, the Hunchback. Clever positioning there. Copy that. Reporting. Critical hit. All right, Black Knight moves up. Full vigilance, and let's deal with this enforcer here. Firing at enemy six. Fantastic. That's the advantage of just getting behind them. I'm losing armor left and right. Ooh, we can't really position ourselves behind him, but our melee tech should throw him over. There we go. Knock down. Fantastic. We're saving quite a bit of heat. And thanks um, for being heavier than this guy. We're essentially dealing quite a bit of damage. We very likely couldn't kill him this turn unless we could have just gotten into his bag. I'm losing armor bad. Hunchback. Waiting for orders. 
sort of does that Hail Mary play here. Acknowledged. Vigilance and let's just fully unload onto him from behind. Critical hit, Commander. Was not enough to kill him. Internal structure damaged. All right, that was a bit reckless. Could have. Could have prevented that from happening by just sticking to what we wanted to do beforehand. Enemy eliminated. Good, we should really not take any more hits now. Moving over. Position confirmed. Precision strike so that that guy cannot act next turn. Okay, stability damage really piles up. Fight begins to hit him. And now we should be able to finish him. It's go time. Standing by. Moving out. Good. I want to be really sure that uh, this guy cannot act again, so again, we're delaying his initiative by one. Target eliminated. Okay, we would have the high ground over here. I like the idea of water as well, I'm there. as we're tendentially having Roger mechs that. that are relatively hot. On my way. Eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Right, so gotta be careful. Receiving you. It was I, uh, almost a given that we confirm. would find another uh, lance of hostile reinforcements. Just trying to not trigger them this round. Picked up a blip. Too late. Mech warriors, show them what you got. All right, couple of lights, couple of medium mix. Apparently a heavy mech. Receiving you. Good. Starting over. I've got a sensor lock. There is another Orion. Okay. Damage is minor, Commander. Ready for Commander. Good. Let's go with our long range option here. Multi target, Ryan first, and then two shots onto the spider. Orion takes some, uh, some stability damage, but of course, not done yet. Commander. Move order received. Good, let's Roger that. just kill the spider. All right, Orion moves up and shoots onto the enemy Orion. Interesting, a Phoenix Hawk. Well, that is fine. So far, we're good. Minimal. 
There is an assault mag back here. Generally interesting combination. They had light, medium, heavy assault. So a really classical, uh, so to speak, lance. All right, let's start hitting that Orion. Fair enough. That these are PPCs. It might be an awesome that we're fighting against. Yes, Commander. <laughs> Move on out. All right, continuing to pepper the Orion here. Aye, aye. Affirmative. Ignite starts to hit that weak spot. And there goes the AC-10. Reporting critical hit. Battlemaster. Okay, well, that makes sense as well. Good. So much for the Orion. Oh, hell yeah. It's on now. Does he have an ace pilot or is he just standing there? Taking heavy hits, Commander. Oh my gosh, he's just standing there. Um, well, let me just put it uh, to you that way. That was really an effing stupid idea. Why would you stand there? Standing by. Phoenix Hawk is literally without cover at this point. Fire. Ready for orders. Fantastic. Black Knight moves in. Vigilance for cover. And then it's going to be a Disco Inferno. <laughs> so much damage. Target's taking a critical hit. Well, that happens if you're just trying to shoot without thinking about it. Sensors impaired. I'm taking internal damage. Mech warriors, show them what you got. Commander. Orders. Good. We're starting over here. And the Battlemaster should take quite a bit of damage. I got you. I'm on him. He hasn't moved a lot, so Orders. our chance to hit him is fantastic. Orion moves up, vigilance so that we can tank. Good, so we're looking at what? Left torso, which means we're going to present the right hand side. Again, vigilance to make it even less painful. Engaging with target. And his torso is opened. Yeah, not much that he Reporting could do, really. Damage. Mox moves up. Okay, I'm on it. it. 
target's taken a critical hit. And this time we want to knock him down. Fantastic, that worked out well. Confirm. Ten four. Which now means we can use everything on the torso. I got you. Target down. And so much for the battle master. I think more or less that we should be fine now. Yes, Commander. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Order acknowledged. Okay, just need to capture it and I think we're good. Moving to position. Good, not Kerbaumann, rich guy that just doesn't like us to succeed. And Modibjorn is helpful. Uh, thank you, thankful for our help. So that was an interesting engagement. The uh, last one specifically with the light, medium, heavy, and um, assault mech was a very interesting setup we took some damage not not phenomenally much and yes bradford at least is out of order for now we could get more orion we could get a bit of the battle master should have potentially let him live in order to salvage more yeah we won't get any rare loot might as well get the medium max just to maximize uh, the value of the loot. 15 million is quite good. We're potentially not going to use a lot of them. But then again, we all wouldn't also use much, many of uh, the standard weapons. By now, we have a deep repository that we can use whenever we want and back to the game so natasha black widow is a bit unhappy about that she wants to uh, ask us where the ship is coming from we're saying we don't respond well to ultimatums and of course she doesn't like it either so that'll be one of our opponents potentially can't remember her particularly i can definitely remember bowman as he's kind of the big bad evil guy in the background good so there's really no decision that we need to do but there is potentially a consecutive deployment this time we need to defend the base and we can certainly do that in terms of repairs really nothing that we immediately need i would rather double check if we can maybe increase the gunnery skill of uh, one or the other pilot Receiving you. standing by orders no nah, not the case good to go well breadford's got to take a chill pill now and I think we're going to continue in the next episode with uh, the Flashpoint. If I'm not mistaken, it's one or two more uh, missions. I think two more missions, this one and, and uh, the next one, before we then can finally uh, get the salvage. And with the salvage, that massive thumper, which uh, is just a fantastic mech. Good. Brings us to the end of today's episode, just right on time with half an hour. If you enjoy the content on this channel, leave a link a like and a comment down below you don't need to leave a link a like and a comment is enough and see you in the next episode bye bye